Marine biologists are people who study all types of creatures who live in the ocean, from the smallest microscopic animals to the largest fish and whales. Matt Kay is a professor of marine biology who performs research and teaches at a community college. My name is Matt Kay. I'm a professor of biology at Santa Barbara City College, and I do marine biology research at UC Santa Barbara and also conduct research and consulting through my own private consulting firm. My initial involvement with diving was personal. It was a hobby of mine. Um, I grew up in Santa Barbara, California, very near the beach, and this was my front yard. Later in life, I learned that scuba diving is a very powerful tool for observing and conducting science in oceans. I earned my bachelor's degree from the University of Oregon, which maintains a small marine lab on the Oregon coast. Uh, for a quarter during my undergraduate education, I went and studied at that marine lab, and it's there that I sort of fell in love with the formal discipline of marine biology. I returned to that marine lab, earned a master's degree, and then subsequently earned a PhD from the University of California at Santa Barbara. Marine biologists study the biology, that is to say living organisms and their interactions within oceans. That involves studying everything from molecules to whales. Um, within the many disciplines of marine biology, there are lots of different career options that present themselves. One can teach, one can conduct original research, um, one can work for a management agency such as the California Department of Fish and Game, or one can provide consulting services. I, I've done a little bit of all of those things in my own career and will continue to do so. As is typical for most marine biologists, I've been involved with lots of different projects in my career. To name a few, I've, been, I've studied fish populations on oil platforms off the California coastline. I've worked in kelp forests off the Cal California coastline looking at how quickly kelp plants grow um, and where they go when they die, what happens to the, those plants. Uh, I've been to Tahiti where I've studied coral reef growth rates. I've been to Australia where I've studied this organism, which is an abalone. Um, and most recently, my work focuses on California spiny lobster, general biology and, and fisheries biology here in Southern California. I've done lots of different jobs in my life. Uh, those include landscaping, driving delivery trucks, doing construction. And ultimately, when I arrived at being a biologist, I knew I had found my passion. And I think that's critically important because aside from sleeping, work is what you do with your life for the most part. And it's critically important to find something that you love, you're passionate about, that you think is fun and that you're going to enjoy because that's what we do with our time on this planet uh, is work. Marine biologists use lots of different tools to complete their work. It's like any profession. There's always the right tool for the job. I found in my research that uh, there are sort of two tools that are critical. One is scuba diving, allows me to go underwater and make direct observations about habitats and the critters I study. Um, and secondly, in my research with spiny lobster, I work really closely with commercial fishermen and we use their fishing gear to catch large numbers of spiny lobsters. What that allows us to do is to accurately measure um, and tag, put little individual numbered tags in individual lobsters that then allows us to follow how quickly they're growing, how far they're moving, when they're moving. So there's, for me in my research, there's this combination, powerful combination of scuba diving and working with commercial fishermen and using their fishing gear to observe populations. So one of the things I like best about being a marine biologist and scuba diving is that every once in a while I'll be on the seafloor looking at something that I think is a discovery. And that's part of the exciting part about being a research scientist is that sense of that maybe you're seeing something that no human's ever seen before. And so I have that at times in my lobster research when I look at the way they grow and how fast they grow and where they move. And that's never been formally defined. But almost every time I go diving, I see a new critter. And when it's something new to me, I stop and think, wow, has anybody else ever seen that and seen it in that way? 
And so for me, in science, and especially in marine biology, where we know relatively very little about the ocean, there's, I always feel like I'm on the frontier of discovery and observing new things. And I just love that about marine biology. And scuba diving really opens up that universe. Perhaps the most challenging aspect of being a marine biologist are, is the long hours. Um, you know, typically we're leaving as the sun rises or before the sun rises to go out into the field. Um, and every day we spend in the field collecting information or making observations is accompanied by five or six or ten days in a lab or in an office analyzing data, writing reports about what we've seen. And so the hours are long and unlike some other professions, um, those long hours aren't necessarily rewarded by a rich paycheck. And so this is very much a labor of love. So the hard aspect would probably be the long hours um, and the relatively low pay grade relative to some other professions, but, but we do it because we love it. And, and I think that's the right reason to pick a career. Marine biologists, as with most biologists, ultimately come to a point in their research where they find it's necessary to kill an animal to learn something important about its biology. Um, typically, those animals don't go to waste. Um, the information that they provide is critically important in conserving their populations over the long term. And so that information is justified, justifies the killing of those organisms. Um, and I think that if you step back and take a look at most industries, we find that most industries impose killing of organisms in some way or another, whether it's a factory that's built on a piece of land where animals used to live, or if it's a farm that converts a, a, a once a forest into farmland. And so humans in every walk of life impose killing of organisms in through their jobs. I and mean, biologists are no different. And so we biologists, as most people, we just try to be conscientious about it and do it as little as possible, which is, I think, what most people strive to do. My advice for anybody who wants to be a marine biologist is to uh, go work with a marine biologist and make sure that it's for them. And if they are convinced that marine biology is the field for them and that they understand that it's not swimming with dolphins 24 hours a day, then to start to develop the skill sets that will enable them to be effective. That includes um, a scientific diving certification. That includes comfort and ability to operate small boats. That includes um, a mastery of using computers and computer software and the tools that scientists use to analyze information. Um, that would be my advice. Make sure it's for you. Uh, check your soul. <laughs> and if it is for you, then start to develop the skill sets that you'll need.